Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below this video and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's question. Awesome, so this question asks us to match um, the brackets in a string and make sure that they are properly closed. So properly cl closed brackets means that um, when you have um, a bracket like this that's not properly closed because you can see the open bracket is different from the closed bracket. So one way to approach this problem is to create a mapping of um, all the correct brackets, right? So what I've done here is I've created um, mappings of the opening and closing brackets. So we are able to access this info and just match if the um, order in which the closing bracket shows up is correct or not. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to um, iterate over this string with the bracket. So let's say this is our input, s equals these, and this is a properly formatted string. So what we're going to do is create a for loop here and iterate over the string, and we are going to put each character into a um, list or array. Right, and what we're gonna do is we, let's say we put the first character in here, and then what we need to do is we need to check if this exists in um, our mapping. So the way we know that it's an opening bracket is we're gonna check if it exists in the mapping here, right? So this exists in the map, so we put it in, and then what we do is when we encounter the closing bracket, this is when we access this element here and match this value. So we say, hey, um, at this index, when we find a closing bracket, we need to make sure that that closing bracket is the same as what is in the correct uh, pairing in our pairs map. So that's the basic idea um, behind the solution to this problem. Okay, so if we take a mismatched example like this where the answer should be false, um, what we can expect to see here is that first, at first, this will be inserted in the stack here. And when we go to the second element, which is the mismatched element, um, we know that we will retrieve this, we will pop the last element out of the stack and we will look here, oh, so what is the correct matching for this? And when we see that it's not this value, so we'll grab the correct pairing for this value, this first sign, um, and we will see that, oh, okay, well, this sign is should be what we are expecting here. But instead, we have this in our iteration. So this is not equal to, um, this correct pairing. And that's the case that we are going to return false. Okay, awesome. So with these high level ideas, let's jump into the implementation. So, so I'm back in Lake code and what I've done here is just outline the edge cases. So for example, if we get a string that's less than two characters, then we know that's an invalid case and we can just go ahead and return false. I have also created um, this dictionary pair brackets where uh, I have matched all the pairings and I have created a empty list here, STK, where we are going to use to compare um, if those pairings are correctly matched or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is iterate through the list. So for the bracket in S, and I want to check if this is an opening bracket or not. So to do that, I can just check if that bracket is in the pair brackets or not. So if so, if we are in pair brackets, then what I want to do is I will push it to our list here. So we're going to put it in here first. So sdk.append that bracket. Okay, awesome. So now we have something in the um, SDK list. 
and okay the other case that can happen is if um, we are given a if we're given a string that just starts with a closed bracket so we need to take care of that in that case there will be nothing in the um, list here right so for that case we need to check if stk is not empty if len of stk is greater than zero okay um or sorry if it is equal to zero that that's when we want to return false or if we have a case where um where this bracket does not match the paired bracket so for that case we also will return false so or um, let's pop the element out of here so we're going to pop sdk dot pop and so this is this element this open bracket now we need to check if that is matched with this end bracket or not so we need to access this value here so to do that we will say um, pair brackets at the index of the popped item in the stack so if this is not equal to the bracket we're on so again we're doing this comparison here so this bracket is not equal to um, this bracket so for this case we want a closed version of this but we got this right so that's what we're doing in this line here so if this is not um, equal to the bracket we're on, then we can go ahead and return false. Okay, after doing all of this, if there is still something left over in this, the list, that means that item wasn't matched. And we can, for that case, we can go ahead and return false here. Um, Otherwise, if all of this passed and there were everything was matched up and there's nothing left over in this list here, then we can just go ahead and return true. Um, oh, I'm missing a semicolon here, or a colon here. Okay, so this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Okay, accepted and submit. Yay, success!